Hi everyone, Jessica Alba here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a very special guest. As you can see, it is my mom, Kathy Alba. Give her a warm round of applause. Welcome. Hi mom. Hi babe. So we did a fall glam. I actually didn't let my mom do her makeup the way she wanted to do her makeup. I sort of forced her to do it the way I wanted her to do it and she kind of listened. I think I taught you something. Yes, so she did. watch the video to see what I taught my mother. And my mother is the queen of glam. I can't believe I actually taught her something. So yes, she did. watch the video, check it out. Hope you like it. Here it goes. We put our clips in our hair. We are ready to apply our makeup. My mother and I both have very different skin tones, but we're gonna use a lot of the same colors. So you can see how Honest Beauty works. Really? <laughs> We have this amazing line of skincare and it is our sensitive skincare line. It works great on all kinds of skin types. No, don't go in with that yet, mom. Okay. First, have a cleansed face. So we both have cleansed face. Then you use the Calm and Perfect Serum. Now I like to use this serum, put it all over the face. It's really nice because it has these like resurfacing kind of qualities, which you don't normally get to have in a skincare product that works for sensitive skin. Next is the Daily Kind Lightweight Moisturizer. Usually my mom likes to use a heavier moisturizer, but I just want you to try this one. Now, I already did my skincare. You this is exactly Rub it what around, I and then you press it in. Rub it around, press it in. Yep. That's your technique? That's my technique. I'm gonna use the Hydrogel Cream. It has two types of hyaluronic acid. So I think because you do have more dry skin, maybe just layer that one on top. It's basically like giving your face a glass of water. My mom always complains about not having enough moisturizer on. You do have more dry skin, I guess. Oh yeah. This is mostly water. It's not an oil-based moisturizer, so it does sink into the skin really nicely. And I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and just kind of like blot it in. Now you can use the mist. That's my favorite. Because it just feels like a spa day. Let's use some of this Magic Balm on our lips because why not? The Eye Bright, because we all need a little brightening under our eyes. Like you said, I like to dab it in and I don't like to rub it. Rub it. Say that three times. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Okay. Mom, what's your favorite thing about fall other than you say that like you're not as hot? Not that you have hot flashes or anything, but I love the changing of the leaves, even in California. We have some fall trees that go red, yellow. What? They're beautiful. Why don't you tell everyone the color of your house, mom? It's green. And what color are your trees, mom? <laughs> red. And why did you choose that, mom? Because I love holiday. Meaning? <laughs> I love holiday colors. Meaning? So red and green. Meaning? Christmas. Like literally Christmas. She was like, I want Christmas year round. I'm like, what? That's red why and it's green? at my house. <laughs> Well, thank goodness. So let's go into the makeup. So I know that you don't really like to use matte primers, but I want you to trust me here. Okay. Where do you want to be shiny? My cheeks. Mm -hmm. The high points of your cheeks, then maybe down the bridge of your nose, like there, maybe up here. Okay. Then we're going to use the matte primer, matte primer, and we're gonna put here, you don't want this to be shiny right here. Your eyelids closed. Mm. Mom, <laughs> what are you doing? So mom. So daughter. Why, when I was little, you had no problem coming out the house in your sweats, but you always had your face on. Why was that? Honey, that was my thing. Makeup and hair. I loved it and I loved doing it. And when did you start doing hair and makeup? I went to cosmetology school back in 83, a long time ago. And what did you go to school for? Like what could be your job? To do hair, makeup, but mostly hair. I really enjoyed coloring, cutting, styling. Did you like that you had a daughter that you could put makeup on? Or oh yeah. Put, Don't you remember do I, used to, I used to spiral perm your hair? I do remember. She almost sat on her hair. That's how long her hair was and just, I would spiral perm it and it would be these yes, beautiful curls. And that was in Texas. I remember that going down the street and like with the perm solution and you're like, <laughs> Don't 
touch it. You can't get on your hands because it gets on your hands and you touch your eyes. It's going to sting your eyes. And I was so nervous. So I was just, it was so itchy. When you found out you were pregnant with me, how old were you? I was 18. Had you at 19. It was, was awesome. Was it a surprise? Oh, uh, yeah, it was a surprise. I was in college. Your dad was in college. We were engaged. Engaged? Mm-hmm. You were already engaged? Absolutely. How long? Six were you months after we met on Christmas, he gave me my engagement ring and we were going to make a long engagement. When he got out of college, we were going to get married and then we got a little surprise. Hello, here comes Jessica. <laughs> Let's do this trick where you take your lightest shade. So mine is it. linen, yours is snow. Go down the bridge of your nose, make a fan and then under here and then here, get your darkest shade. Mm -hmm. Now you make a stripe here. Go like this, where you contour. Here, on this eyelid. Now what you do, this is the secret. You get your foundation color. So you have fair, I have light. You squirt it on the back of your hand. So this is not really our foundation color. This is the luminous finish tinted moisturizer. It is more forgiving than a foundation. You get your damp beauty blender in there and now you start blending. Mushing that face. And it's a way to kind of like hide your contour in a way. So you get like a little more of a natural look. It's not as stripey and obvious. I know you're not big on powder, but just where you want things to stick. It's never nice when you're sweating and have like a shiny upper lip. And also your eyelids. I'm gonna do the same on me. And then go in with your bronzer mm -hmm. and everywhere where you put your contour, throw that bronzer in there. Do you have a favorite makeup look from your youth, the 70s or 80s that you really want to bring back? I really liked light eyes, just mascara, mm -hmm. and the red lip. It was a point in time when Prince was very popular, Madonna. I mean, Mom, it was all about the eyeliner. What are you talking about? You, Sometimes, you it depends. You eyeliner, black eyeliner, all around your entire eye every single day. Well, Even blue and purple. And green. And you wore blush. Yeah. You didn't just do. I know. So, well, what? Things are flying here. <laughs> Okay, sweetheart, are we popping to eyebrows? What are yeah. gonna do? Do your eyebrow? Yeah. I'm going in with brown. I have taupe. All right, so let's go in here and go into this light taupe color and then just put it over your lid. Next, you're gonna go in this with one. this darker color and I'm doing like a V, like here. Yep. In here. Yeah. It's like your favorite move, this one. You just blend, blend, blend. Bring it up like that. So don't bring it down because it'll make you look tired. Yeah. And then if you find that you went a little bit too far, you can always get a wipe and just wipe up in the shape. Just for good measure because I like really just like this. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this nice hydrating under my eye. I'm not even gonna blend it. If you get a little bit of fallout, at least you have that to catch it. Next up, we got a flat edge. We wet it with the mist. Then we're putting it in the gold. Yeah. And we're gonna go along our lash line, go right underneath and just along your lash line and then do it on the top as well. And I'm gonna pull mine up like a little baby cat eye. What's the thing that you regret the most that you've done from like a cosmetic beauty perspective? For me, I turned my hair green because if you put ash on blonde hair, you have to cancel it out with a red. But I looked like the Grinch oh. for two days. Oh. <laughs> and so. now it's very on trend because Billie Eilish is a rock star. There you go. And all the kids are trying to have the green hair. I know. Born in the wrong generation, mom. <laughs> And now we're going to go in with the liquid liner. What I like about the liquid liner for this look is we're not going to use the liquid liner like a traditional kind of line. We're gonna just basically go in and just emphasize along our lash line. Mom, you always do too much. So I might have to do this for you. So watch, watch me, watch me. I'm gonna watch. Watch. I can do it. No, watch. We're just gonna like dab it 
in between the lashes. Do exactly what I'm doing, but do not do a line. Go straight, no, don't do a line. You can't even see my eyelashes, babe. Mom, they're blonde. You can't <laughs> see your eyelashes. Do you need your bifocals? <laughs> How can I do it with my bifocals on? That's why I gave You're you this here. <laughs> don't do it the whole way. Okay. You just have to be patient. You're basically putting it in between your lashes. So what it does is even if you have thin lashes, even if you have blonde lashes, all it does is it gives the illusion because it's making where your root is darker, it makes your lashes look thicker and fuller. Done and done. Done and done. Mascara time. Were you surprised when we came out with this mascara that the primer was oh, on one side? Love it. And the mascara was on the other? Especially when you have very thin eyelashes like I do. But it's basically like hair extensions, hair uh, lashes. Yep. And I really like to pile on this primer. Sometimes I even do a few layers of it. Mm -hmm. And the key is you have to let it dry for 30 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna do the liquid lip. I'm using BFF. You're Some using off-duty. Which is absolutely great for fall. Yeah, it's a great nude. It's like an everyday nude. And for people who have lighter skin, they will love off-duty. And for people who are more medium-toned skin, I really like the BFF. But we have really beautiful neutrals and nudes that go into deeper shades as well, just depending on what your skin tone is. Last, but certainly not least, we have two more steps. Actually, three more steps. So, mascara. I remember your mascara face when I was little, it was like this. I know. And so when I was little and I would pretend to put makeup on, I would always do that face because I thought that was the face that you needed to make <laughs> when you wanted to be a grown up doing makeup. We well, let's do our blush. Face. We're both gonna use this blush. This is the Lit Powder Blush Award winning blush and Foxy. It's such a beautiful color for fall. It looks great on so many different skin tones. Very pigmented. Yes, that will last you forever. I mean, see, we have to shake the brush because you don't need much at all. Okay, so the final lip balm moment. I am going to use Axonite, which is our deepest nudie kind of color. And which one are you using? You're gonna use Bronzite. Bronzite. And I'm just gonna put it on the inside of my lip like not around the whole thing. Cause I wanna almost use the liquid lip like a liner. It's a treatment and a lip gloss in one. What more could you want? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Kathy Alba and I should be doing more videos, don't you think? Comment and let us know what other kind of videos we should do. Like, subscribe, turn on those notifications. Peace.